The two players I want to look at is a Brazilian international called Neymar and the English international called Jadon Sancho. The first player we're going to look at today is Neymar. So in 1999, Neymar's career began. He played for a small team, a small academy in Santos, which is in Brazil, called Portuguesa Santista. Then, after his four-year spell at that academy, he then moved to the biggest academy in his city and one of the biggest academies in his country. That team is called Santos. He spent a total of 10 years at the club, so from 2003 to 2013. But in 2009, Neymar made his professional debut for the club. So his first ever start for the first team. So he was involved in the first team for about four years. Then, after his 10 year spell at Santos, he then went and joined a team in Spain called Barcelona. So Barcelona are quite a famous team in the world and they're playing the top flight of Spanish football. He spent four years at Barcelona and then four years, a lot of people think, were the best four years of his career. He played with a very famous footballer, one of the greatest footballers of all time, who you may have heard of, called Lionel Messi. Then, after his four years at Barcelona, he made an even bigger move than what he did join in Barcelona. He joined a French team who played in the top flight of French football called Paris Saint-Germain. So, a lot of you may know Neymar for his skills and his tricks. Ever since 2017, he has played for PSG. So, he's been at PSG for nearly four seasons now. As I said to begin with, so when I was explaining the two players, Neymar is a Brazilian footballer, so he's a Brazilian international. He's regarded as one of the best footballers to play for his country. As you can see, when Neymar played for, uh, for Barcelona in Spain, and now he plays for PSG in France, he has to do lots of travelling, as he would have to do as a footballer anyway, because footballers do lots of travelling, whether they're travelling for home games, away games, or they might have to travel abroad. So when Neymar played in a competition called the Champions League, he may need to travel to all different parts of Europe. So for example, PSG may play a team in England, so Neymar would have to come from France all the way to England. So as a footballer, you do lots and lots and lots of travelling. Now, the second player I want to show you and um, speak about is Jadon Sancho. So Jadon Sancho is a young England international. Some of you may have heard of him, some of you may not. As you can see, he's had a slightly shorter career than Neymar, but he's also seven years younger. So, Jadon Sancho began his career in 2007 and he joined the academy of Watford Football Club. Watford are a team who are based in Hertfordshire. He spent a total of eight years at the club, so eight years in their academy. Then, in 2015, he's moved the academy. So he moved up north to the northwest to a city called Manchester and he joined a team called Manchester City Football Club. He spent two years at the club and the main reason why Jadon Sancho left Man City was because of lack of first team football. So he wasn't being played a lot. So he was only still being played academy football when Jadon Sancho as an individual thought he was better than that. Which is a great mentality, mentality to have for young players. So in 2017, Manchester City sold him to a German team in Dortmund called Borussia Dortmund. So in 2017, Jadon Sancho joined a German club called Borussia Dortmund. He has been there for nearly four seasons, so he joined in the same year as what Neymar did. In these four years, Jadon Sancho has had huge development, which means he's made huge progress. So he's came from being an okay average footballer to really progressing, and a lot of people think he'll be one of the best players in the world in the next five or six years. So Jadon Sancho is still really young. A lot of you may know Jadon Sancho from the England national team, because he's an England international. So he plays for England, so he plays with the Premier League superstars like Jordan Henderson, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Harry Kane, Raheem Sterling, Marcus Rashford. So he plays in the same team as all of those players. As you can see, if he plays for Borussia Dortmund, he's another one like Neymar who has to travel from different countries to come and play for the national team. So he has to travel from Germany all the way back to England to train with the England national squad. Like with Neymar, his club play in the Champions League as well, which is one of the biggest competitions in Europe. So 
A lot of the weeks during the year, so midweek games, so it might be a Tuesday, Wednesday or Thursday, they do lots of travelling. So he might have to travel from Germany, maybe to England, maybe to France, maybe to Spain. But he has to travel on a weekly basis in Germany or around Europe. Now, what I would like you to do at home is look at these two footballers on my board. The first footballer is an England national player called James Milner. He currently plays for a team in England called Liverpool, who won the Premier League last season. The other player I'd like to research and look at is called Luis Suarez. So a lot of you may have heard, for, heard of him from biting somebody in a Premier League game against Chelsea. And he currently plays for a team called Atletico Madrid. What I would like you to do is, is like what we did before when we looked at Neymar and looked at Jadon Sancho, I would like you to do their pathway. So as you can see, James Milner currently plays for Liverpool and Luis Suarez currently plays for Atletico Madrid. I would like you to find the first ever team they played for and work backwards. So you'll find James Milner's first ever team, then the second team he played for, then the third, and find out how many teams he played for. And that'll be the same for Suarez. So you need to work in chronological order from the first team they played for to where they are playing now. Remember, all of your homework sent to the number which will be on the screen now. And best of luck with your homework. Me and all the rest of the coaches will be looking at it to see who's got it right and see who's been the most creative whilst doing it. The one tip I will give you is apparently there is a good website on the internet called Google where you can get your answers from. Right, best of luck. I can't wait to see your submissions. Go smash it. Off you go.